Okay, Aziz. I know where Aziz is. Okay. No, yeah, get out of my way, party members. What? <laughs> Aziz is in the temple hold, helping the archaeologist. He's holding that big gold sheet. That's true. Aziz, this guy again. This, this riveting gameplay. I mean, I'm trying my best, Patrick. Dude? Hold on. I'm testing something. I'm going to go through the Badlands and see if there's a way to not be in the damn airship. Why would you want that? We'd have to go back through the Badlands. Getting single digits of experience points all the way through. <laughs> it makes me feel good. Why? Okay, maybe not single digits. I'm amazed we got that much. I second the why. <laughs> because since there doesn't seem to be a button to just land the stupid airship. Well, the I airship mean... is going to follow you like a lost bio puppy dog. <laughs> you can't make things futuristic just by putting bio in front of them. They did! Patrick. Patrick. Shannon has a point. You put the word cyber in front of it. <laughs> or space. And if you're... Damn it! Really in <laughs> it jumped over the canyon and <coughs> followed you and then went, Boof! Boof! And good ship! <laughs> yes, you, you, you are good ship. Pat, pat. <laughs> now stay. Stay ship, stay. Here's a buttered cat for you. Execute Borf.exe. Where have you been? I've been fighting against Oscius. More recap. Who desires the power of the core. He's tried to create an artificial conjunction with giant lenses. I have felt these disturbances. But I did nothing about them, because I'm a school teacher, and I'm bound to stay here on this rock. It is no longer regulating the planet and its energy properly. I'm afraid it will have disastrous consequences for our world. We can ask questions. Yeah. Hell God! What the heck? Hell God! <laughs> I saw a carving of a creature called the Hell God in a village on the lowest shell. I know of a creature that was rumored to live in the interior of the core. Did he get really quiet all of a sudden? He did. They can withstand the heat of lava? No, it's called acting, you see. He's speaking in hushed tones. <laughs> <laughs> I believe they are once again fighting amongst themselves. Good, that makes them weaker. This guy's voice sounds really familiar. After Marduk saved the world from I think we looked it up once and we were very surprised by who it was. He hid them. Marduk believed that we were not ready for the power they could unlock. He taught his followers that... I, we've heard that. Uh, I don't know if you guys remember the name Don Stroop. You should know him from his best-known work, Aziz, from Septericor, Legacy of the Creator. Oh. 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 It is his only credit. Oh. His, his IMDb page is barren. I am so sad now. Don, I, I, I'm so sad that you didn't have a better career in voice acting than this game. I is hope it, it didn't. I hope it didn't get in your way. Is it like <laughs> Wikipedia, where anybody can edit it? I pledge my uh, maybe. No. What I'm saying is, Tim Curry has done so much. Maybe we can give him some of his credits. <laughs> <laughs> Tim Curry, you don't. You don't need these roles anymore. We're gonna give them to Don. Ah, uh, yes, Don, <laughs> for his his role as Long John Silver in Muppet Treasure Island. Yes. Obviously. Nobody saw Congo. Give it to Don. <laughs> and that red alert game where he says space. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> All right. So we had our recap. We talked to Aziz. 
Where the hell do we go now? I'm leaning Galden. Cause this this seems like a place we should be. Are there any other bar fights we can get into? No, but I apparently can loot the the hell. <laughs> <laughs> we just looting people's random saddlebags. Yes. The hell. That's why you always have to have a key fob system for your hell gas. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> that that is literally what I I'm doing. I have the club for my hell gag. <laughs> is that Get where you beat it over the head before you go? What? Give me your saddlebags. <laughs> That's what. Oh, oh, you know, did we already come back and beat up the beat up the guys? Oh, we did. Dang it. Oh yeah, that was one of the first things we had to do in order to actually use the inn here. Well, fine then. Okay, so where should we... Wah. That's a very energetic shopkeeper down there. Get... He's really excited to have somebody walking upstairs. Get through the stupid stairs. Okay, so we've, we've talked to Aziz for our recap, and he basically told us, yeah, you should go do something about that apocalypse that's coming. Maybe Which you is should, very helpful. Maybe you should play the game to save the world. Fix all the bad things. Well, fine, Aziz. I guess I'm going to go to Shell 1 since we've never been up here. Do you happen to remember where we were when we got the airship? Yes. We were here. Great. Shell 6. We had just completed um, the pirate base. Okay, that gets me a better idea of where to look through in this memory of mine. In your computer memories? Yes. And I do remember that... Uh, we, we had formed a deal with uh, this guy. This guy. Yeah, Robo Ranger. Robo Ranger, I forget his name. Yeah, it's not it's not important. And you said it was what, the East Marsh that has the burb, maybe? On Shell 6? Yeah. I think we got it. Like, he's the burb yeah, was on East the north. Marsh. Yeah, the burb was Marsh. on the very north. I suppose. I don't, I don't actually well, know. I, I, I think we're fighting a beehive. Oh, yeah. God, that thing is disgusting. Maybe maybe save up for some bigger hits. Kiss the bees! <laughs> I'm not kissing the bees. <laughs> bees? Uh, uncomfortable with bees. No! Robot Ranger, you you fail, fail miserably. I'm All right, Maya, it's only twenty damage. You Thank did you. it. <laughs> for a second, I thought it wasn't going to give us any exp for that. <laughs> yeah, I think the bird was sitting like right here. Probably. So. I'm just gonna leave. <laughs> so yes, we we completed the Southmire Lake, I believe. Cause we had to get the ticks in order to make the the tattoo ink. Right. Oh, that's true. Is that giving you a better idea in your your computer memory there, Patrick? Yeah. I'm going to fly around shell one a little bit. I don't think we've been here yet. And hopefully okay, I won't so what's annoying is that in this section of my memory here, uh, we, we've gotten the bless fate card, right? Because we fought Connor, the pirate dude, who was all like, I'm going to sit here in my invincibility chair. Hey, look, I've yeah, got that these was Tim turrets. Curry. Yeah, okay. Yes, we, we have bless. Tim Curry okay. gave us bless. He blessed us. All right, so there's some optional quests I'm going to skip over. But optional God. quests 
are you really you really want me to, to to make us go through them all i mean we might as well oh my god let's just okay, drag fine. this out <laughs> we're at 101 percent this thing <laughs> okay <laughs> just just bite it down patrick bite it down what's our first uh. optional quest Go, uh, go to shelter to okay to the west of grub's workshop there's an aisle with a three question mark area to the that's the east okay to the west yes. to the west to the west yes i found it yeah go there okay going there land the ship on it i did there's a go ast there's a couple go asts Yes, but there's a particular go ast. Is it this one, the one that's causing me to have a cutscene? Yeah. Oh, that was thrilling. He ran into the well. Yeah, so we need to go find Lassie, the ghost of Lassie, and get her to fish him out. Uh, no. Um, he, he runs away. Go around the fence on the right and walk all the way, walk all down staying as close to the fence as you can. I'm sorry, go around the fence on the right? Let, let, let me read you verbatim. Here's how to approach him in the correct way. Go around the fence on the right and walk all down, staying as close to the fence as you can. Then walk south, still staying close to the fence, and walk to the well between the benches and the well. Maya should now stop the ghost, and the boy will give her her holy water, the holy water accessory. I'm sorry, the accessory that protects one fully from undead damage. Okay, I'm gonna reland. If so. we're the only people with an airship, how did anybody get on here to make a friggin' farm and a well? What is happening to this aspect ratio? Also, how on earth is a well here on a floating island? Yes, that's the, that's the only problem with the geography here. Okay, there, there's the boy. Yep. So we, we go around the fence to the right and all the way down. Yep. And then south. Yep. Follow that fence. Following the fence. Trying to follow the fence. Stuck. No! Uh, maybe actually go the other way. Perhaps. I don't know. No, I, I, I tried before I exited. I was checking out the, uh, like, where I could go. Oh. It's just, it's, it's the, uh, the mouse cursor, like, or is garbage. Well, the collision, the collision detection is garbage. But yes, so I'm I'm instead going to hold down the walk key. Good call. I like how we think that we're so sneaky. While this uh, lady with a rifle, girl with gigantic shoulder pads, and a robot with a huge ass rifle are just kind of walking around in plain view going, yep, that ghost won't notice us. <laughs> so, Pat, I, I now walk up. Yeah. Go up between the benches and the well. No! <laughs> yeah, don't. That, that worked. Ta-da! You did a thing. Da 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 da. You got a thing. I'm so proud of this. I live out like I'll never die. I lose my head in the starry skies. Can't change it down. I feel.